Hello, and welcome to this Avacon tutorial. This tutorial is intended for people new to Open Simulator, and will walk you through three steps to get you started. The first step will be downloading and installing the Firestorm Viewer. A viewer is the app we use to interact in an Open Simulator virtual world. In the second step, we'll see how to choose an Open Simulator grid and how to add a new one. The third step will show you how to log in to an Open Simulator virtual world. Let's get started. We'll start by downloading and installing the Firestorm Viewer. To do that, we'll need to go to the website for the Firestorm Viewer. And you can do that by opening your browser and going to firestormviewer.org. Once you've done that, you should see a site that looks like this one. Just below the images at the top, you should see some menu options. Look for the one that says Downloads and left click on that. This will take you to a new page and you will need to choose between two options. The choice we need here is to download the Firestorm Viewer for Open Simulator. So let's left click on that one. Now we're on a page that asks us to choose our operating system. There are options here for Windows, Mac, and Linux. For this tutorial, we're going to go with Windows, so let's left click there. This new page has the actual links for downloading the viewer. You'll want to left click on the download link, right next to where it says Windows 64 bit for OpenSim. Let's left click on that now, and the download should start. Once the download is complete, go ahead and tell your web browser to open the file. At this point, Windows may ask if you want to run this software. Make sure that you say yes. Now the installer wants to know what language I'm going to use. This defaults to English, so I'm just going to click the OK button. Now the installer wants to know if I want to accept a license agreement. Left click on I agree. The installer now wants to know where you want to install Firestorm. In most cases, you should never have to mess with this, so just go ahead and left click on install. This pop up will ask you if you want to create an entry in the start menu. Left click on yes. At this point, the installer will begin to put the Firestorm viewer on your computer. It can take a minute or two to complete, but once it's finished, you can click on the close button. Now the installer wants to know if you want to start Firestorm now. We're going to click no. And now the installation is finished. And if you minimize or close your browser, you'll see you now have a Firestorm icon on your desktop. Now for the next step, where we will learn how to select a grid and add a new one to the Firestorm Viewer. Let's start out by starting the Firestorm Viewer. Look for the Firestorm icon on your desktop. And double click it to start the viewer. The viewer will do a little housekeeping, and then you should see it open up. Open Simulator software allows anyone to create a virtual world, and these worlds are often called grids. You can see here that I have the OS Grid Virtual World selected, and the viewer shows some information about that grid. If I log in now, this is the grid I'll go to, but what if I want to go to a different grid? If you look down here at the bottom, there's a drop-down box. If you left click on it, you will see a lot of grids to choose from right out of the box. If I want to go to the Kitely grid, I just have to select that one, and the viewer will make the switch automatically. But what if I want to add a grid that isn't on the list? To do that, we'll need to determine the login URI for the grid we want. Most grids have a website that will give you this information. We're going to go to the website for the Open Simulator Community Conference in our web browser. You can get there at conference.opensimulator.org. Once we're at the conference site, we can look at the menu at the top to find the grid info option. 
As your mouse pointer hovers over that, you will see more options appear, and we want to left click on the one that says Login Info. Let's left click on that now. The only information we're looking for here is the login URI. In this case, it is http colon forward slash forward slash cc dot open simulator dot org colon eight zero zero two. Now that we have this, we can go back to the viewer. Here in the viewer, we need you to look at the menu at the very top in the upper left hand corner and look for the menu called Viewer. Left click and on the sub menu, left click on Preferences. And a new window will appear for all your preferences. This window allows you to customize many aspects of the viewer, but we're only interested in adding the Open Simulator Community Conference grid. To do that, we're going to look at all the tabs running down the left side of the Preferences window. Near the bottom, you'll see one called Open Simulator. Left click on that and you will see a grid manager. Now all you have to do is enter the login URI we got from the website into the text box right under where it says Add New Grid. Let's enter that now. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash cc dot open simulator dot org colon eight zero zero two. Now that we have this, we can click the apply button. If nothing happens, you may need to wait for the viewer to tell you that it couldn't add the grid, and you may need to make certain that you have entered the correct login URI. But when successful, the grid will be added to the viewer and will automatically switch to the Open Simulator Community Conference grid. And you can now click on the OK button in the Preferences window, and we're ready for the next step. This is the last step and should be the easiest one. You will need to have a username and password for the Open Simulator Community Conference grid. When you registered for the conference, you should have received an email that contains your username and password. If you haven't, make sure to contact the conference organizers. Now let's log in. Down at the bottom, you'll see a couple of text boxes. In the first one, we'll enter our username. In my case, that's Marcus Llewellyn. In the next text box, we'll enter our password. All you have to do now is left click on the login button on the right. Let's left click on the login button now. The viewer will now connect to the Open Simulator Community Conference grid. It will display a progress bar as it verifies and checks a few things. And once that's done, you should find yourself on the grid ready to go. And that completes this tutorial. If you have any questions or problems, reach out to the conference team. They are always very happy to help out. Thank you and enjoy this year's Open Simulator Community Conference.